happiness. The one thing that seems to be the most elusive in modern day society. In this society we have everything. We have unlimited entertainment right from our homes. We can get any food right from our doorsteps. We can travel basically anywhere we want to go. You would think that we would be the happiest society that the world has ever seen. But we all know that that's not the case. Internally, people are deeply sad, they're not content with life, they're not connected, and they're certainly not happy. So if we have everything and we're not happy, then how are we ever going to get happy? Well, what if I told you that happiness does not come from what we have, where we live, and not necessarily even who we live with? Happiness comes from within. In this video, we're going to go over the key Catholic things needed to develop an internal life with God that will keep you happy no matter what happens to you in life. Life, as I'm sure we've all found out by now, is not easy. We get sick, we lose loved ones, people humiliate us, we lose our jobs. How are we supposed to be happy when life so often is not happy? Quote unquote. The answer lies in the way that we think. We must accept everything as coming from the divine will of God. If we get sick and are stuck in bed for a few weeks, we need to realize that God has allowed this for our greater good. We should be happy in sickness because God, the creator of everything, has willed it so. If we lose our job, we should be happy because God has allowed it. It's for our greater good. If people talk bad about us and they spread obvious lies, we shouldn't worry, fret, or even try and correct what they say. Just realize that it comes from God's will. Alphonsus the Great, King of Aragon, being asked one day who he considered the happiest person in the world, answered, He who abandons himself to the will of God and accepts all things prosperous and adverse as coming from his hands. Romans 8.28 To those that love God, all things work together unto good. Proverbs 12.21 Whatever shall befall the just man, it shall not make him sad. Suppose that the day of Christmas had just arrived and the snow was surrounding a house as the fire glowed. A young kid wakes up, opens his presents, and he gets absolutely everything that he ever wanted. Would he not be the happiest little kid on earth in that moment? Thus it's the exact same thing for anyone who truly wills exactly what God wills. Every day and every moment, he will get exactly what he wants. This is the beautiful freedom of the sons of God because everything that happens, save sin, happens through the will of God. Just like our Lord assured his apostles, your joy no man shall take from you, your joy shall be full. He who unites his will to God's experiences a full and lasting joy. Full because he has what he wants and lasting because no one can take his joy from him since no one can prevent what God wills from happening. It is important to remember that material things can never fulfill you. They can provide short-term pleasure, they can make you feel good for but a moment, but over the long term they leave you unfulfilled and always wanting more. This is why we need to be happy with what we have, because it's the little things in life that give us joy. A cup of tea, the smile of a loved one's face, the warmth of a fire. These things can make us happy, not living in mansions or driving Ferraris. Timothy 6, 6-8 But godliness with contentment is great gain, for we brought nothing into the world, and we can take nothing out of it. But if we have food and clothing, we will be content with that. You cannot be happy without the love of God. So. The question is, how can you come to know this love if you are not talking 
and conversing with God. This is why we need prayer. Prayer is how we converse with God. Prayer is how we come to know God more in a personal way. Prayer is how we connect our soul with the infinite where true happiness is found. So in order to be happy, we also have to pray often.